Shuri was trying to recreate herbs after all herbs in Wakanda were burnt by Njadaka or Killmonger. Chala was critically ill right now, he needed the herbs soon. Shuri tried to use all technologies in Wakanda but she failed. The Queen Ramonda came to tell her that Chala had passed away. All people of Wakanda and all relatives of Chala were deeply saddened by his death. They took the Black Panther to his last resting place. <laughs> One year later, the Queen Ramonda attended a meeting of the United Nations. In that meeting, Wakanda was pressured by other nations to share the vibranium as what Chala promised. The Queen Ramonda told them that Wakanda refused to share the vibranium with other nations. She was afraid that the vibranium was misused as weapons to kill each other. This decision was also made after considering the fact that Wakanda had lost the Black Panther as their protector. But despite that fact, it didn't mean that Wakanda had become a weak nation. They had strengthened their defense instead to protect the vibranium. As the evidence, Okoye and the Dora Milaje had defeated and arrested the French army who tried to steal the vibranium in Wakanda's mine of vibranium. With the evidence of the arrest of the army, the Queen Ramonda warned everyone to not underestimate Wakanda, especially not to misuse the vibranium illegally. In the Atlantic Ocean at night, the CIA agents used the new vibranium detector in their expedition to find vibranium in the ocean. With the help of the detection device, they found the mine of vibranium that they were looking for. Some divers were ordered to get at the bottom of the ocean to inspect the mine, but not long after that, the divers were gone mysteriously one by one. A few minutes later, a sound of singing came from the bottom of the ocean, the sound hypnotized all members of the ship's crew to jump into the ocean. After that, some mysterious blue-skinned people climbed the ship and killed all CIA agents there. Hundreds of people were killed in that incident, only the leader of the expedition, Valentina, who managed to save herself. After that incident, the CIA agents accused Wakanda as the killer in that mass killing. At night, the Queen Ramonda asked Shuri to burn the white cloaks with her as a symbol that they had accepted the death of Chala, but Shuri refused because she still mourned him. In the darkness, suddenly something came from the lake area. It was Namor, the leader of the Blue Skin People's Force who attacked the CIA agents before. The Queen Ramonda Dan Shuri were surprised that Namor could get through the advanced security of Wakanda. Namor came to protest to Wakanda, he blamed Chala who had revealed the existence of vibranium to the outside world. Because of him, there were many people who tried to steal the vibranium, even at the bottom of the ocean. Apparently, there was also a mine of vibranium in Namor's place like in Wakanda. He told the Queen Ramonda to catch the scientist who had invented the vibranium detector. If the Queen Ramonda refused, Namor and his army would attack Wakanda. The next day, Shuri and Okoye met Agent Ross to find the identity of the scientist that was mentioned by Namor. From Agent Ross, they received an information that the scientist who had invented the vibranium detector was a MIT student called Riri Williams. Shuri asked Riri to go to Wakanda with them. Before leaving, Riri took Shuri and Okoye to her base to pack her things. She did all of her researches there. Shuri and Okoye were amazed by them. Before they left, the FBI suddenly came and surrounded Riri's base. Shuri ran away by using a motorcycle. Okoye ran away by using Riri's car. And Riri ran away by using an Ironheart suit that she made. When they managed to escape from the FBI, they were suddenly attacked by Namor's army. The leaders of the army that were called Otuma and Namora killed all the FBI personnel and fought Okoye who was there alone. Okoye was finally defeated because she couldn't fight all of their crew alone. Riri and Shuri then were kidnapped and brought by Namor's army to an underwater kingdom that was called Talakan. In Wakanda, Okoye reported about everything that had happened. She was defeated by Namor's army when she was trying to protect Princess Shuri. Unfortunately, the Queen Ramonda didn't accept her excuse. Okoye was fired from the Dora Milaje. The Queen Ramonda visited Nakia who lived in Haiti. She told her that Shuri had been kidnapped, so, she asked for her help to find Shuri. Not long after that, Nakia received an information about the location of the Talakan Kingdom from local people. At the same time, Shuri was brought to meet Namor. Namor told Shuri about his background, apparently, he had lived for hundreds of years. Back then, Namor's mother who was pregnant suffered from a mysterious disease. She and other local people were given a remedy in the form of liquid herb that was found at the bottom of the sea. The herb was similar to the herb in Wakanda except this one was blue. After Namor's mother and the local people drank the remedy from the traditional doctor, their skin turned into blue, they also couldn't breathe normally in the land. Because of that, Namor was given birth to in the ocean, he was the first person who was born after that mysterious incident. Namor grew as a special child. He was gifted with a special superpower and small wings on his legs. Before Namor's mother died, she said that she wanted to be buried in her village. Because of that, Namor and others came to the land to bury his mother. But when they arrived at the village, they were surprised to see many villagers were being enslaved by the Spanish colonial army. Namor was furious to see that. So, he killed all of them. Since that incident, Namor hated the human race. He had a big ambition to rule the world. He asked Wakanda to work together with him. If Wakanda refused, they would be the first nation that would be destroyed by Namor. Then, Namor invited Shuri to go see the beautiful view in Talakan Kingdom. 
He also gave Shuri a bracelet because she was the first human who saw the Talakan kingdom. During their conversation, Namor suddenly received a call from the Queen Ramonda. Turned out it was only a strategy. After Namor left, Nakia came to rescue Shuri and Riri. What Nakia had done was seen as a war declaration by Namor. He gathered his army to attack Wakanda. In Wakanda, people lived their life peacefully. Baku was patrolling the area and Nakia was meeting Okoye. Not long after that, Namor and his army broke down the defensive wall of Wakanda. They attacked Wakanda from many directions that caused difficulties for them. The Queen Ramonda then ordered her army to evacuate all people who survived from that attack. Baku was trying to fight Namor's army but he was finally defeated by Namor. Shuri came with an airplane and shot Namor, but she failed because Namor moved so fast when he was underwater. Namor attacked them with water that drowned the Queen Ramonda and Riri Williams. The Queen Ramonda who was still conscious tried to save Riri, but unfortunately, she died because of it. Namor didn't regret what he did, he warned Wakanda that he would come back in a week if they refused to bring Riri Williams to him. The death of the Queen Ramonda made Shuri become the only succession to the throne who was still alive. Shuri who was still enraged didn't want to mourn for too long, she tried to continue her research on the herbs, so, she could have the superpower of Black Panther to revenge the Talakan kingdom. Shuri used a piece of bracelet that Namor gave her. She thought the bracelet was also made by herbs. Shuri and Riri worked together to create various weapons. Shuri finished the new suit of the Dora Milaje which was equipped with many weapons and defenses. Riri also tried to upgrade the Ironheart suit so it could be used in the battles. Shuri's effort wasn't useless. She finally found the right formula to regrow the herbs. Nakia dissolved the herb and gave it to Shuri. According to the tradition, Shuri was sent to the world of the ancestors. But she didn't find the Queen Ramonda there. Instead, she found her cousin, Killmonger. Shuri was surprised and mad when she met Killmonger. She felt like she was left by her ancestors. She also despised Killmonger. But Killmonger told her that they met there because they were the same. They both had a big ambition to take a revenge. Killmonger also told her that all former Black Panthers were weak people. He burnt all the herbs so there wouldn't be the next Black Panther. But now he saw a strong Black Panther in Shuri. After that, Shuri woke up and became mad because she didn't meet her ancestors. Nakia thought that their experiment had failed. But turned out Shuri already had the Black Panther superpower. With that superpower, Shuri was more convinced to take a revenge. A princess. Baka disagreed with Shuri's decision at first, but Shuri didn't want to listen to him. The next day, the army of Wakanda prepared themselves to attack the Talakan kingdom. They were heading to Talakan by using a ship. As they arrived in the middle of the ocean, Shuri lured Namor and his army to go to the surface of the water. The battle between two kingdoms finally began. In the beginning of the battle, Wakanda attacked Talakan relentlessly. They just realized that there was a lot of members of Talakan's army. From other directions, Riri with her Ironheart suit and Shuri with her Black Panther suit fought Namor directly. Shuri managed to trap Namor by luring him to get into the airplane that she had prepared to dry out Namor. Shuri planned to take Namor to a desert so they could have a fight there. After finding out that Namor had been caught, Baku ordered the Wakanda army to retreat, but Namora blew their ship machine up so they couldn't go anywhere. In that situation, the Talakan army turned things around and surrounded the Wakanda army. At the same time, Namor and Shuri got into a fierce battle in a hot desert. Namor was powerful. He still could fight and stab Shuri with a spear. After that, Narmu tried to return to the ocean because he badly needed water. Shuri managed to take the spear out of her body and burn Namor's body. <coughs> When she tried to kill Namor, she suddenly had a vision from the Queen Ramonda. The Queen asked Shuri to let Namor go because she didn't want any bloodshed in their battle. Namor finally submitted to Shuri and agreed to be Wakanda's ally. Because of that decision, the Talakan army and the Wakanda army had become ally and reconciled with each other. After that battle, Wakanda finally regrew their herbs. Before leaving Wakanda, Shuri gave Riri a car as a farewell gift. In Talakan, Namor was mad at Namor because he had given up to Wakanda. Namor told her that someday Wakanda would need a help from Talakan because they didn't have another ally from the outside world. They could take advantage of that situation to revenge humans in the outside world. In Wakanda, while Shuri was gone, Baka usurped the throne. Shuri was visiting Nakia in Haiti at that moment. 
She burnt a white cloak like what her mother wanted back then, it was a symbol that she had accepted the death of her mother and brother, apparently Nakia had a son with Chala, Chala agreed to raise their son in Haiti so he wouldn't be bothered by politics in Wakanda, their son was called Toussaint, his real name was Prince Chala, 